Welcome back in Adventurers. It's Wednesday. Kohalan's Adventurers channel update number 94 this time. I'm calling Change the World. Because um, the world is changing. From last week, we had 1,719 Adventurers. We had a huge jump up to 1,762. Um, so that's inspiring. And we went from um, 11... 0.7 thousand to 12.1 thousand watch hours so and a lot more comments uh, which is really enjoyable and nice I <laughs> even had to use Google Translate to respond to a person who posted in Spanish uh, so learning new things all the time um, speaking of new things if you go to the community page, there's a new poll and there's two, I think, two more quizzes that I think you'll find fun, hopefully. And there's a bunch of quizzes that if you haven't been there before, check them out. You can join in and uh, there's some that are sparsely guessed. There's one that has not been correctly guessed yet. So you could be the first one. Let's check that out. Um, Last week, who did I see? I saw, I had an interview with Mike Miller, who I'd seen the week before at the Baked Potato. Nice interview that posted Sunday. Uh, so hopefully you've gotten a chance to see that. Uh, one of the polls has something to do with that topic in general. Um, and then Friday, I went to see the Musical Box, which is a Genesis um, tribute band that are they're one of the really top-notch tribute bands of, as far as tribute bands go, um, like, you know, Queen Nation or, or um, well, One Shot Deal. Uh, trying to think of the, which one's Pink for Pink Floyd. Uh, they're, they're in that echelon of really solid musicians who really have a care and love for the music of subject matter that they're covering and um, the videos will speak for themselves if you just have them playing in the background and listening to them you're you think you're listening to the Genesis cuts uh, very strong in the presentation the stage presentation is wonderful so check those out um, Saturday I went up to Burbank area stopped off in um, I don't think it's Atwater Village, but it's Los Feliz East, south, just south of Glendale, uh, to go to the Tam O'Shanter and see Allison Lewis, uh, who was singing in a caroling group. Because they were wandering around, I only got a couple of videos of them. I haven't posted anything yet, uh, but I might get that as we get closer to the holiday season. I have saved some Christmas or holiday season music just for the weeks approaching the Yuletide. Um, so look forward to that. But I continued on that night to see the cookies that you see right there. That may be some footage from that very night. Uh, they had Jonathan Drizzle, who, who was part of the uh, Cleo and the Cletones, the Jimmy Kimmel show live drummer. He plays regularly with Don Randy, um, who I am interviewing tomorrow for Sunday. So that's something to look into. Um, and then the regulars are Bobby Watson and Max Ed Lewis and Alan Hines right there. I'm producing a show with at Campus Jacks on January 24th. So just before NAM begins. So come down and see it if you can. Shameless plug. Um, so it was a great night, and it was really fun. Sunday, I was so wiped out from posting the three, two and a half sets that they did. I was up until four in the morning, and then got back up at seven, and was trying to take them from my offloads, and then titling them, and then uploading them to YouTube, and then getting... I was supposed to go out and see the Pinch Me Band in Corona Del Mar um, from like 11 to 4. 
and I I didn't get out of my house until like eight or so that night to go and keep a meeting at Campus Jack. So I apologize. I would have liked to have seen uh, it. I missed them twice now. So at some point I'll get to see them. And I still have footage I haven't posted from them. So I'm going to get back to posting that. So there won't be a dearth of being able to see the Pinch Me Band. And uh, that will be coming later as I catch up. Um, that was last week. So this week, as I said, I'm interviewing Don Randy of The Baked Potato. Don Randy of the book right there. You've heard these fingers. Um, one of the original Wrecking Crew guys. So uh, it's been a pleasure to have become friends with him and known him the last couple of years. So this will be my first interview with him. Really looking forward to it. Digging deep into the information of the book and wherever the journey takes us on the interview. Uh, and then for the rest of the week, uh, there's a possibility of seeing Bobby Gray at the coach house. Uh, he said he caught me. I, I really not sure how to reach him. So I'll, I'll see if I can find a way of doing that. So that's a possibility, but this week is busy anyway. I might just do two things this week and that would be Friday going to Catalina club, seeing Steve Gadd and his band with Walt Fowler, who was just in the um, Mike Miller band and has played with James Taylor and all these people. Um, it won't be Jimmy Johnson who was in Mike Miller's band, but um, it will be Travis Carlton on bass. And then um, Michael Landau on, on guitars, as usual. I'm not sure who the keyboard player is. Um, I'll have to... I'll tell you next week. You'll, you'll know who it is. Uh, but it should be... A, oh, and of course, the drummer, Steve Gatt. But it'll be a great show. Um, and then Saturday, down at the Women's Auxiliary Yacht Club of Santa Monica. I'm not quite sure what the title of the... Let me see if I can find it. Stop being lazy. Uh, where is it? It's at the Santa Monica Bay Women's Club. It's Venice. It's their annual Christmas show. This time back at the Women's Club. Uh, last time they did it at the Mint, which was okay, but there's something special about this it's like an old theater room downtown, like the back of the building is facing the three, Third Street Mall in Santa Monica. So it's it's just wonderful. So I'm looking forward to getting footage from that. I'm upstairs VIP seating, so it's going to be a good show. And then Long Shot, maybe uh, Songs of Christmas up at Bogies. I don't think so. I checked the tickets. The six o'clock show is the only show I'd I'd be wanting to go to and there's one seat left and it's fairly pricey so I, I think I'll have enough Christmas in me from Saturday so um, that will be it and then more stuff coming um, I will let you in two little secrets two weeks from now um, I have an interview no no do I? Hmm. When is it? Okay, yeah. Two weeks, two weeks from today, I'll be interviewing Carl Verheyen, who um, I just saw at the Baked Potato. There's some footage of that that you can check. Um, and I just booked him at Campus Jacks. I had to had to say, he's going to be there on March eighth. Um, and the whole band, the, the regular bands that, that's on the last video from The Baked Potato is going to be there and very excited about it. So you'll be looking, you'll be hearing more about that as, as it goes forward. So like I said, change the world, a lot of things changing and uh, all for the good. So looking forward to um, being able to talk about that and and get a lot of Christmas holiday spirit videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. So my best to all of you. 
Until then, get thee to a concert. Much love. Take care.